morning. <clears throat> Our good son of Han, this is the blessed Lawrence who gave himself up for the treasure of the church. For this he earned the suffering of martyrdom to ascend with joy to the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We were sent to hear the contract of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, who received for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, and Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you are alone of the Lord, you are alone of the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, giver of that order of love for you, by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in martyrdom, Grant that we may love what he loved, and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for good work, as it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His prosperity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear, till he looks down upon his foes. Bless the man who is gracious and blesses to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Bless the man who is gracious and blesses to those in need. Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. 
But if he dies, he produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. know just how true this, well, story of Jesus rings. That unless the grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just simply that, a grain of wheat. We see, and are privileged time and again, to see that seed go under the ground and prosper as it dies and gives forth new life, to produce more life. And yet, we are confronted by that evil one in the world today that would tell us, oh no, keep all that you have. Gather it all in. Don't give it away. But if we don't give it away, well then we are the ones who die. And so does the church. Our faith is given to us not to be hoarded, but is meant to be shared. It is meant to be given to others so that they too can prosper into eternal life. And that is what we, well, certainly St. Lawrence lived, a deacon of the third century, who was charged with caring for, well, the poor of the church. And during that whole time, in that period where the emperor wants all of the treasures of the church, then meaning all of the gold and whatever they may have had in terms of the vessels that they used to celebrate the sacraments. When the emperor's men came for the treasure, Lawrence revealed to him the true treasure of the church, the sick and the poor. He said, here are the treasure of the church. They possess that faith, and they gave them that faith to others by their witness to how Jesus moves in their own life to make them strong in spite of their infirmities. They are the true treasure of the church. and the needs of the world. For Pope Francis and all who teach the faith, may God shower them with grace to give completely of themselves for his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For those in positions of leadership in the judicial system, may the Holy Spirit guide their hearts as they balance justice and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. For Holy Trinity Parish, especially those who carry out the legacy from Our Lady of Good Counsel, Merlin, and Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Colville, that they may come with gratitude into this new chapter of our history, for all the graces bestowed during the history of our parishes, and all the gifts these parishioners bring to the new community woven as one. Let us pray to the Lord. For favorable, favorable weather, especially rain, during this growing season, we pray to the Lord. For a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that God will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to persevere in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. 
For those who have died, Craig Hanrahan, may they be brought into the fullness of God's presence and for the attentions of this Mass, Joe and Louise Kalashia, Dennis Magenis, Alfred Pisari, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the prayers we hold silently in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We join in our vocation prayer. God, our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your spirit's invitation. And awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious as we entrust you in care. All who seek to do your will, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for the goodness we receive the bread we offer you, for the earth and word of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we receive the wine we offer you, for the divine word of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. Brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <coughs> Receive with favor, O Lord, the offering to rejoice and make on the feast day of St. Lawrence, and grant that they become a help to our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed Mother, Lord, poured out by Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. We are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have had us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How many we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our president, Walker, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in their mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced through eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, may God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from that we will graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and grant us peace. The Lord, the Lamb of God, the Lord, and who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Communion at a time. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am there also will my servant be, says the Lord. Let us pray. 
Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service, which we render on this feast of St. Lawrence, may bring us an increase in your saving grace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.